Hey guys, I'm Heidi Schmidt with Opticom and today we're going to talk about making the switch from analog over to the new HDTVI stuff. With the new technology, the HDTVI technology, um, the great thing about it is a uh, cable, right? So if you've got an existing analog system, you don't have to swap out all that cable. You don't have to yank it all out or run new lines or anything like that. Um, the perk of this is that uh, you can use your existing cable. So if you've got RG59, RG6, or even CAT5, you can just convert that right over and keep your existing BNC connections, assuming that they're still in good shape. If not, you'll, you will need to re, uh, re-terminate those on the ends. Um, and then upgrade your video balance for the Cat5 up to an HD version video balance, and you can hook in all the new uh, HD equipment and, uh, and just make that transition pretty simply. Um, so again, if you already have the cable, use it. We don't, we don't want to go run a new cable and spend the money that doesn't need to be spent. Um, so the benefit of TVI over IP is that part with the cable. Um, that's the real benefit. Because if you go into an, a, an HD camera, which is a 1080p resolution, uh, that's the equivalent of a 2.1 megapixel IP camera. Um, so really, in the industrial world, that's all you need. Um, typically, unless you're counting the rings on a log that's, that's rolling down the conveyor, maybe you need a little higher res. But for the standard watching the belt and watching the operation, things like that, uh, 1080p is, is probably overkill for what you even need for that type of an application. So uh, so that's the benefit of the TVI, um, and it is a little bit uh, cost-effective, more cost-effective than the IP systems. Um, so the next step, so you've got your cable, it's already in place, you're ready to go, right? So your next step that you wanna replace um, as you're making this transition to the HD system is your processor. So whether that's a quad splitter or a DVR or even an, an, you know, um, an NVR that's some sort of a hybrid, something like that, that's your first step. Because if you've got existing analog cameras in your system, you don't want to throw those out. So what you want to do is you want to go with our, um, our SVD2400 or our PXD3400, which is a hybrid. So what that means is that once you take your old processor or DVR or whatever it is out and you put your new one in, one of our new ones in, it's a hybrid. So all of your existing analog cameras are going to plug right into that. So you don't have to run and throw away every camera that you have in your mill that's already working, right? Because who wants to throw away equipment that works? Um, it's just going to integrate right into that DVR. So then as you go to replace new cameras and, and do new things, you can put that new HD TVI camera in its place. So then you'll have the analog and the HD TVI cameras on the same system. Now, obviously, when you look on the monitor, you're going to see the resolution difference of the, the old analog to the HD TVI, but you're still going to have both cameras working on the same system. So that's going to make a huge difference. So um, the whole perk of switching the processor first and, and why, as you can see, we've got our list of things here, um, why you want to do it first and what the benefit is, is that, again, you don't have to replace anything else. Once you replace that, you're just in position. So whether it's six months or a year or two years that you're going to have to start upgrading cameras, you're in position to do it and you don't have to spend another dime. So uh, so it's really important that that's the first step because if you go and you jump in and you buy that TVI camera before you buy that processor and you replace an analog camera with it, you're not going to be able to see it because the technology is different. So even though it's that same BNC connection that you're used to, the technology is different. So you'll plug it into your DVR or straight into your monitor and you're not going to get a picture. So you've got to change out that processor first. Um, so next would be your cameras, right? So when you're ready, you got your processor switched out. Next month, you know, you want to start uh, swapping out cameras or, you know, you had a camera go bad and you want to you want to upgrade to a new industrial camera or something like that. That's when you start going. So you're going to get your high definition cameras in there. Um, same connection, different signal, right? So you're still going to have that BNC connection, but it's a different signal. This is a digital signal, not an analog signal. So it's really important that you, you remember that and you realize that cameras all look the same in terms of the, the outside part of it. It's the inside components that are different. Um, so industrial and commercial cameras, uh, again, with the same features, but better images. So if you already were using, a, say, a bullet camera that has, you know, a WDR, which is wide dynamic range, and, um, you know, and it had sense up and, and all these additional features, the HDTVI cameras have all those features as well. They're just a higher resolution. Um, so you don't have to trade one in for the other. So just know that there's a, a comparable there. And that's one if you're not sure. Uh, what to do and what to go with, you're going to give us a call and we're going to help you out. Um, we'll be able to tell you what part numbers and, and things like that. Um, so next, making the switch, right? So you want to upgrade your monitor. So now you've got this uh, new DVR in place and you've got these fabulous new cameras in place and um, you're looking at your monitor and you're like, well, the picture's a little bit better, right? That's because you probably don't have an HD monitor. So you can't get a high definition image on a screen that doesn't support high definition, right? So this is probably the last thing you're going to do. Um, wait for that monitor to fail. Wait till one of your guys, you know, hit it with a rock and break it. Or, you know what I mean? Don't go, again, spending money that doesn't need to be spent 
Um, but you know, once it's time, then you want to upgrade to that high definition monitor. Um, so that's when you get it. You're going to get to see all that resolution you just paid for, for your new cameras and your new DVR and all your new stuff. You're going to be able to really see that image on the, on the monitor and it's going to look great. Um, so same size options are available with the HD. Um, we've got the large ones. Um, and again, once you get to that 70 inch, if you need bigger, we can go into those display walls as well, which is multiple monitors that are all kind of linked together as one big monitor. Um, and then check it, your existing monitor may actually support that 1080, 1080p, and it may be a matter of just switching from uh, a B and C into that monitor, into your video input, and switching it from the HDMI cable and the DVR into the monitor, and then you'll get that 1080p. So, uh, so double check your monitor before you go replacing it, because it may already support the, the technology that we're talking about. So next, what accessories are you going to need? Um, so as we said before, the Cat5, uh, you're going to need to upgrade your video balance to an HD supported video balance. Um, Fairly simple. Uh, it works the same way. It just supports that digital signal. Um, if you're running directly to multiple monitors and before you had that B and C T connector, you'll need to upgrade that because we have the digital signal and that analog connector is not going to make that switch. Um, and then same thing if you're running a camera directly to a monitor, because it's a TVI camera and most B and C monitors are B and C analog monitors, uh, you're going to need a converter just like you would if you were running to a VGA connection or into an HD, uh, HDMI connection. You'd need to convert the signal um, so that it could be read. So those are the main things about when you make the switch of what you need. Reference chart right here, right? So it gives you a general idea. So like our CCO2 industrial camera, one of our, our best sell, not one of our, our best selling camera by, by all means. Um, is the CCO2, right? So that's available in HD TBI now. So the new part number instead of CCO2 is CCO2 TBI. Um, we typically try to keep it pretty simple, but this chart just kind of shows you the equivalent. So if you've got a QS4 8, you're going to want to get the SVD2404 to replace that. Um, if you've got the BNCT connector like we just talked about, here's your part numbers of what you're going to want to replace that. Um, so again, this is just an easy reference chart. Um, all of our, our PowerPoints can be downloaded on the website. So if you want to print this chart out or do something like that, pop on the website. Um, the title of the PowerPoint matches the title of this video. Um, so that just gives you a general idea. If you're still like, oh my goodness, I have no idea. Here's my system. It's a mess. You know, uh, give us a call. We're working on some stuff right now that's got, you know, one system that has fiber and has the, the coax and we're trying to integrate, you know, TBI and all of that into it. Um, don't try to figure it out on your own. <laughs> Call us up. Let us help you. Thanks for your time today. Uh, if you have any questions or you don't understand anything that we've gone over today, give us a call. Our number is 1-800-578-1853. Or you can visit us at our website. It's www.opticomtech.com. Or if you want to check out our, uh, our indestructible camera video, that uh, website is www.toughestvideocamera.com. Thank you and have a great day.